You might be watching the launch of a career in engineering. Rory Myers designed and built a slingshot. So it is made out of paper towel rolls, and or toilet paper rolls, a pencil, it has some tape on it to secure it. I have rubber bands and I have a little plastic ball inside. Rory invented the slingshot with the help of WQED's education team, which takes learning support to schools all across its viewing area. A call from one school took the station southeast of Pittsburgh to the Laurel Highlands Middle School. And they're getting excited about the things that they're doing, and that's what makes learning fun. The WQED Education Department has developed initiatives to help schools provide the curriculum and materials to enhance learning across all grades, including early learning, literacy, writing, and STEM and STEAM classes. An engineering class called Design Lives Here is a favorite among sixth graders. These are examples that WQED has sent to our school. One of them would be the robo arm. We have uh, the indoor slingshot. We have our seismic shakedown. Last week, our, thing, our um, project was to make a paper table. I took a couple sheets of newspaper, just rolled it up, and I put some duct tape around it, and then I put support beams in there just to make it stronger. Would any of you like to talk about what an engineer or an inventor does? 2020 brought extra challenges as the pandemic pushed learning onto virtual platforms, okay, like this one, during which WQED connected STEAM classes with professional engineers. You know, work out the finer details and get towards a, 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 a prototype that you can actually build. WQED understands that engineering and STEM is, a, is going to be a vital part of this country's future and that uh, the individuals that are attending these classes are given the opportunity to excel in that field. The earlier we can get these types of programs out to the, to the middle schools, the higher probability is that we're going to get a very diverse next generation of engineers. I want to um, maybe be a vet or even be an engineer because I like cre um, creating stuff. I love that. I think that's great. She's always been kind of more on the arts side of things and she's thinking more using her hand, which brings the arts into it. She's thinking more of the um, technical end of it and creating things instead of kind of going along with the flow. I think it's awesome. Well, I wanted to be a Radio City Rocket, but then I changed and I wanted to be a therapist. But now doing all this, the STEAM classes, I kind of want to be an engineer too. I'm super appreciative of something I was already trying to do with her, that WQED has brought this program into the school and made it fun for her so that it's given her that light to say, oh my goodness, yeah, no, engineering might be something I really want to do, Mom. Um, it's given her a different perspective. So WQED has brought so much enthusiasm to our school and our sixth grade student body. Um, the dynamics of the teamwork, collaboration, um, the excitement um, to jump in and create, um, the innovative ideas that are just exploding. WQED has come in and said, hey, what are your needs? Where can we help you and where can we support you? And it's not just support with STEAM classes. I mean, teaching English is not fun. I mean, English itself, you know, kids don't like to write, kids don't like to get involved in grammar, but the lessons and things and stuff from WQD has made my classroom come back to life. We've actually seen an increase in our uh, kindergarten readiness scores uh, for our students coming in. WQED has made it possible for Laurel Highlands, our students, our staff, and our community uh, to be able to enhance the skill sets that students were struggling with. When people think of WQED, they just think of like those little kid shows, but it's so much more. More like family, perhaps, sharing new and innovative ways to learn. I want to thank WQED for their investment in my child and, and all the children at Laurel Highlands Middle School. WQED has brought us into a neighborhood of learning. The experience has been phenomenal. Thank you, WQED.